Today we're going to be talking about how to use the distance formula in three variables or in three dimensions. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to use it to calculate which of the three points that we've been given, point A, B, and C, which of them is closest to the YZ plane, and also to use it to calculate which of these three points lies in the XZ plane. As a reminder, I've written the equation of the distance formula here, d equals the square root of these three terms. It's the exact same formula that we used to calculate distance in two dimensions when we were only dealing with two variables, except that we've added this plus the quantity z sub 2 minus z sub 1 squared. So when we move from two dimensions to three dimensions, our distance formula stays the same except that we add this value here with the z variables. So that's going to be the formula we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and tackle the first part of our problem, which is to calculate which of the points is closest to the yz plane. Well, the way that we want to do that, first let's imagine the yz plane. If we draw a three-dimensional coordinate system here and we use the right-hand rule and we say that this is x, this is y, and this is z here, our three coordinate axes, we're talking about the yz plane. Well, the yz plane is the plane that includes the y and z coordinate axes. So we can imagine it here if we just draw a plane like this. It's going to be this plane that includes the y-coordinate axis and the z-coordinate axis. So this is the y-z coordinate plane. In the same way that the x-z coordinate plane would be the plane that includes the x and z coordinate axes. So this would be x-z. We can even draw our x-y plane here. It's sort of the floor of our coordinate system. But it's right here, the x-y coordinate plane like this. So we have the three coordinate planes of our three-dimensional coordinate system. Well, let's just take one of our points and figure out how we would calculate how close it is to the yz coordinate plane. If we take, for example, probably the easiest point to do it with is point C, which is the coordinate point 2, 4, 6. So if we take that point and we graph it, let's say that we go out a distance of 2 on the x-axis, let's say that's about here and then out a distance of four along the y-axis, so about double the distance maybe here. And then we move up a distance of six up the z-axis here, so maybe that's about here. And we have this point that's like floating in the middle of our space here. If we drew a box to represent where that was, we would say that the base of the box was about like this, two here out to four, something like this, and then up a distance of six like that and we could show that here from the origin that our box looked something like this out to this point where that point there two four six is the corner of our box so there would be our box and there's our point right there floating in space at two four six now how do we figure out how close that is to the yz plane? Well, we want to draw the shortest line possible between this point and the yz plane. We want to draw a straight line directly from that point to the yz plane. Well, if we do that, we just move along this edge of the box here and we hit the yz plane at this point right here. So we want to draw this straight line getting directly to the yz plane. This is going to be the distance between these two points, or between this point C here, 2, 4, 6, and the yz plane. Well, all we've done here, what's the coordinate point here? Well, we know that the y coordinate is still 4, right? We're still out a distance of 4 on the y axis. We're still up a distance of 6 on the z axis. The only difference here is that the x-coordinate of this new point in the yz plane is 0 instead of 2. So this point here, the corresponding point, is just 0, 4, 6. Now what we learn from drawing this picture is that the point on the yz plane that's closest to each of these points is the corresponding coordinate point except that the x value in that coordinate point is 0 instead of whatever it is in the original point. So the point on the yz plane closest to the point b would just be 0, 1, negative 5 instead of 3, 1, negative 5. The closest point to point a that lies in the yz plane would be 0, 0, negative 1 instead of negative 4, 0, negative 1. So we just take that x value and we make it 0. 
Now we have points between which we can calculate the distance using our distance formula. So we're going to say that the distance between point A and its corresponding point on the YZ plane is going to be equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So we'll call all of our original points here the x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1 values. We'll call all of our secondary points here that we found our x sub 2, y sub 2, and z sub 2 values. So now we just have to plug them into our distance formula and we'll do one example and then move to our conclusion here. But we're looking for x sub 2 which we know here is 0 minus x sub 1 which is negative 4. So 0 minus negative 4 and we're going to square it. y sub 2 we're grabbing here from our secondary point which is going to be 0 minus y sub 1 which is 0 and we're going to square that. Then we're going to add to it z sub 2 which is negative 1 minus z sub 1, which is negative 1, and we're going to square that as well. So here is what emerges. Our y points and our z points are always going to be the same. So 0 minus 0 is going to be 0. Negative 1 minus a negative 1 is negative 1 plus 1, or just 0, so that's going to go away. 0 minus a negative 4 is 0 plus 4, so we have positive 4 squared, which is 16. We're looking for the square root of 16, so we're going to get positive or negative 4, but we're talking about a distance here, a physical distance, so we don't include that negative value. We just say that the answer here is 4. The distance between those two points is 4 units. What we should notice here as an emerging pattern is that if we went and calculated the distance between the original point B and its corresponding point in the YZ plane, what we're going to notice is in the same way that we calculated the distance between point A and its corresponding point in the YZ plane, the Y and Z coordinates, because they're the same, because we have here 0, 0, and negative 1, negative 1, 1, 1, and negative 5, negative 5, and 4, 4, and 6, 6, those are always going to go away. We're going to have 1 minus 1, negative 5 minus a negative 5. They're all going to cancel. So really, all we need to do is calculate the distance between the x values. So we could simplify this to calculate the distance between b and its corresponding point on the yz plane and just say the square root of our x coordinate here, 3, minus our second x coordinate, 0, square it and be done with it because the y and z coordinate points are going to cancel here. And of course, what we're left with is just 3 squared, or the square root of 9, which is going to give us 3. Same thing here with d sub c. We're just going to do the square root of 2 minus 0, quantity 2 minus 0, squared. And we're going to get 2 squared, which is 4. Take the square root, and we get 2. What we see then is that these are the distances between points a, b, and c, and their corresponding points on the y, z plane. Because d sub c is the smallest value, we have 2, 3, and 4 here, d sub c is the smallest value, we can say that the point c is the point closest to the y, z plane. So that's how we figure that one out. Now, this one's a lot easier, which of the points lies in the x, z plane? Well, of course, our x, z plane is this plane right here, this x, z plane that we drew before. Which of the points lies in that plane? Well, what we can identify here is, for example, these points here in our box that we drew for point C, but these four points all lie in the x, z plane. The reason they lie in the x, z plane is because their y value, the y value of each of these coordinate points is zero, right? When the y value is zero, we're going to have a value that lies, a coordinate point that lies in this x, z plane. So we're just looking for one of our points that has a y value of 0, and of course we can see that that's point A here, where the value or the coordinate point is negative 4, 0, negative 1. If we drew that here, we could go out a distance of negative 4 along the x-axis, so let's pretend that we go out a distance of negative 4 in this opposite direction here. Our y value is 0, so we don't move in this direction. We also don't move in this direction. We stay right along here along the x-axis. And then we just move down a distance of negative 1 to, let's say, this point right here. So that's negative 4, 0, negative 1. That's still in this 
XZ plane right here. If we extended this XZ plane and made it larger, this is what it would look like. We'd have this XZ plane here, and that point, negative four, zero, negative one, lies in that plane because the Y value in that coordinate point is zero.